Hi everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets and today I wanted to teach you how to make a really simple watermark in Lightroom. So I pulled up this image of Jess's. She posted this today in the group and there were two comments on this photo asking how she created her watermark and it's really just a simple text watermark that she's created. I've seen this a lot in the group, a lot of other photographers in our group use this as well. So I just, it's super simple and I'm going to show you how to make it. So we're going to pop over to Lightroom. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our edit watermarks pop-up and because I'm on a Mac mine is under this Lightroom menu. If you are on a PC then it's under the edit menu. So I'm going to pull up the edit watermarks and it's going to open this dialog box. So the first thing I need to do, I have my text watermark. This is the default one set here. I'm going to delete what's there by default and I'm going to just hit copy and paste. Now you're not going to be able to hit copy and paste. Obviously you're going to have to type this up a whole bunch of times, but that was just too time consuming. So I just copied it. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make a few changes. I'm going to leave this as Myriad Web, Web Pro. That's what it is by default on my computer, but you can change it to any font that you have on your computer. So anything you like. If you have a specific font that you use for your business, then use that one. The only thing I would say is steer away from maybe a cursive font. I don't think that's going to be super readable because it's going to be pretty small. So I would stick with something either a serif or sans serif font that's pretty readable at a small size. You have the option to choose whether you want it bold, anything like that as well. I'm going to leave the alignment and the color the same. I want it to be probably a white or a black would be best. I'm going to take off the shadow that that puts underneath my text. I'm going to drop down here to the effects and decrease the opacity just a little bit. I'm going to leave it set to proportional, but I am going to decrease the size of it down quite a bit. I'm going to go to 15. That might be a little bit small for you. You can change however you like, play around with that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is change the anchor point down here. I'm going to move it to the middle and I am going to offset it from the bottom because I don't really want it running along the exact bottom of the image. I'm going to offset it up here at, we'll just do the full amount, a 10. And then I'm going to click save. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this a line watermark. And I'm going to click on create. So now when I go to export this image, I'm going to go to export, export. I'm going to click on my normal export here, but I am going to come down here and click on watermarking. I'm going to click watermark and I'm going to choose that line watermark that I just made. And I'm going to click export. And I've already done this, so I'm just going to overwrite it and wait for it to pop up and show you what it will look like when we open it in Photoshop. So now I've just got this simple line watermark going across the bottom of my photo. Super easy to do. Hopefully this helps you create a watermark that you love that is super simple and quick.